Hey everyone, Simon from Yoko here, and today we have a brand new video. Today we'll be counting down the top 10 most successful NBA teams. So before I get into this, I would like to thank Website Builder for helping me create my awesome free website. The website will be linked in the description down below. So anyways, let's get into this. Number 10, Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets are one of the best teams today in back in the 90s, 80s, and 2000s. But a lot of the fans felt like the Rockets can do better, and I agree with that. But they did win two NBA Finals in 1994 and 1995, so keep that in mind. Number 9, New York Knicks. Have many dynasties in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and winning two championships. All their great dynasties will put them at number 9. Number eight, Miami Heat. You guys probably remember in the early 2010s when they became one of the best teams in NBA history, winning two NBA Finals in 2012 and 2013, and had an unstoppable team with players like Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Ray Allen. They just couldn't be beat. Number seven, Golden State Warriors. As a Warriors fan, there's a lot to be proud of. Your team has won three NBA championships in 1975, 2015, and 2017. Right now, then they probably have the best offense in the NBA, especially when your starting lineup has four All-Stars in it. So that does the work for them. Number six, Detroit Pistons. Or should we call them the Bad Boys? The Bad Boys won three NBA championships in 1989, 1990, and 2004 and had many dynasties, plus plenty of all-stars and retired players, and some lucky plays. Number five, Philadelphia 76ers. With all the big stuff going on in the 76ers right now, and people saying they will make it to the finals, well, right now the 76ers are down 3 nothing in the series to the Celtics, so get over it. They are not making the finals. So anyway, the 76ers have had some amazing talent since they were founded in 1946. For example, Julius Irvinger, Ben Simmons, or more. But they just couldn't keep up on the championships. That didn't make it for a while, then they didn't make it for a while, and then they didn't make it for a while, and then they kept not making it for a while. If they did make two or three more championships, they would probably be at the number four or three spot. But they still end up at the number five spot. Number four. San Antonio Spurs. For being a dominant team in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and the 10s, they've been too good of a team when they had players like Monty Ginobili, jo George Gervin, David Robinson, and Tony Parker. For being a team that makes the playoffs like every year, so it makes the four spot an easy choice. Number three, Chicago Bulls. The Bulls aren't a great team right now, but in the 90s and early 10s, they sure were. They won six championships in the 90s with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and more. They became a great team. They got close in the early 10s with Derrick Rose, Joaquin Noah, and Carlos Boozer, but they just couldn't get the job done. But they'll take six championships, so keep that in mind. Number two, Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers are a great team with many championships run, but they made 31, the most championships made in NBA history. You probably think, why not put them at number one? Here's the reason. They only won 15 out of those 31 championships. So now you can tell why they are at number two. Nah. Number one, the Boston Celtics. The Celtics have made 21 championships and have won 17 of them. So they won 80% of the championship they have made. They won. The Celtics have been a great team and have been and have had so many successful years. Everyone used to watch those Celtics versus Lakers in the finals. Those were a classic, a very big classic, and you know what that means. So the Celtics have had at least one successful year in a decade that have been good or whatever. You know what I say, like mega finals. There's so many all-stars, they just made them so good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can see all my new videos. Anyways, peace out.